sex abuse, should silence be a crime? The law in many states requires everyone, no matter who you are, to report it, but not in New York. In a story you'll only see on CBS2, Lou Young reports on two community leaders who want to change that right now. 20 years after he was molested, Penny Tom still deals with the pain. It happened right here in Borough Park, under the nose of the community that was supposed to protect him. The abuser was my teacher. And the abuse went on for how long? For eight months. And nobody ever said a word? Nobody said a word. Some here are demanding a law to require a call to police if a child is being abused. David Mandel is the director of OHEL, an interstate social service agency that caters to the Orthodox Jewish community. All individuals in all states should be required to report it. Period. Period. This is a good time to change the law. Right now, only 18 states require regular citizens to report child abuse to police when they are aware of it. New York and Connecticut are not among them. Neither is Pennsylvania, where Joe Paterno met the letter of the law by telling only his employer about assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. Assemblyman Dove Hyken back here in New York says the responsibility to report abuse needs to be expanded to everyone in our society. The time of running away and hiding and shoving it under the rug is over and finished. And all of us have a responsibility for each other. Because the silence is as bad as the act, isn't it? Um, I will say worse. Worse? Yep. Federal legislation has been introduced by Senator Robert Casey of Pennsylvania that would make it a crime for any adult to knowingly look the other way. We're in Borough Park, Brooklyn. Lou Young, CBS2 News.